Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today I'm going to be showing you my entire sunglasses collection as well as doing a little unboxing at the end of the video. If this is the first time you're ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. But today we do have a sunglasses collection video. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button to give us video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys without any further ado let's get on into the video so yes hi hello everyone I wanted to do this sunglasses collection video I've seen a few people online people that I follow have also done sunglasses collections and I was like hey I have a shit ton of sunglasses so let me do mine <laughs> so I have how many pairs one two three four five six seven eight nine and with my unboxing, it'll be 10. So I have 10 pairs of sunglasses to show you guys today. And let's just get started. I'm gonna start probably with the pairs that I have the most of. And I think I have, I have two Celine and I have two YSL. Let's start with my YSL sunnies. Let me actually start with my first pair of designer sunglasses, which were YSL sunnies. They were these exact sunglasses right here. This video is also going to be like me cleaning my sunglasses because half of these haven't been cleaned in Lord knows how long, so I can't see through them. <laughs> these ones are the super famous Mica sunglasses from YSL. It is the SL276, and these ones were super popular in like 2022, around that time. These were the ones that you saw like every single influencer have. They were everywhere. And I got these from, I don't know, maybe like Selfridges or 24S. I know I didn't get them directly from YSL, but they're really, really cool sunglasses. I like them a lot. They really don't fit my face. So I did have to get nose pads, if you can see that. Yeah, I had to install those like silicone nose pads because I don't know what it is. They just fall off my face. I must have like a thin face. There are only some sunglasses that fit really good on me right out of the box. The rest are honestly just too big and I can't figure out how to make them tighter. I have taken these into Sunglasses Hut before and they have made them tighter but it doesn't really work very well. But I did buy those silicone nose pads and those ones did end up helping me. So now I do wear these a lot more often than I did. They're very, very classic. They're just like a very simple kind of cat eye type of sunglass and I love these. This is what started it all. I do love sunglasses. They're like my favorite accessory. It's crazy. And then going on to my second sunglasses from YSL. These ones are metal sunglasses. I have a couple of metal frames. I like metal frames because I do find that they fit better on my face. These ones are metal and they have nose pads. I know a lot of people don't like nose pads but I personally like them. I think they help me. These are the SL28 middle and they are black. They're all black and they have black lenses as well or like a gray gradient lens. These ones are really, really fun to wear. I wear these a lot in the summertime. I just think they're funky. Like they just look cool. I don't ever see sunglasses like this out. And usually when I do wear these, I get a ton of compliments. So yeah, these ones are really, really cool. Again, I swear all of my sunglasses are so dirty. <laughs> Here is what the side looks like. These ones are very, very thin, like slim profile sunglasses. One thing about these sunnies that I like a lot too is the bar that goes over top. I don't know, I just think it gives it like a really cool design. I haven't seen that before in other sunglasses, so I really like that bar design. And I do tend to wear these more in the summertime as well, so those are my two YSL sunnies. Now going into Celine, I do have two Celine sunnies as well. My first pair of Celine sunglasses were of course, the Triumph sunglasses. I got these last year, and these are in the color bronze. It was like a new color that Celine had come out with for like the summer of 2023, and I absolutely adore these. They're like the most perfect kind of caramel latte 
brown and I just love these. These are the classic Celine Triumph sunglasses. So pretty much anytime you see somebody wearing the Celine sunglasses, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be these ones. It has the Celine logo on either side. And these are CL40194U. <laughs> For you, I don't know. I did have to add nose pads to these as well because they were a tiny bit big, but once I added the nose pads, they were fine. The only thing that I hate about sunglasses is I can't stand when they slide down my face. And that's one the issue that I have a lot, and like with the YSL sunglasses or just with sunglasses that don't have pads they really do tend to slide down my face. Like when it's hot outside and like you're getting a little sweaty, your nose is sweating a little bit. The second I look down, they just, I hate it. I can't stand it. But yeah, these ones I love. I usually wear these ones in the summer and I also kind of wear these in the fall as well. I think with the brown tones, it really works for the fall too. So these ones are kind of like my summer, fall sunglasses. I get a lot of wear out of these. My second pair of Celine Sunnies and probably my favorite pair. I wear these more than those other ones. And these ones were insanely popular last year in like the summertime of 2023, maybe a little bit in the fall. These were so viral, so popular. They were sold out everywhere. And they are the, I don't know what they're called, but they're like blue green. This is CL4235U and it is an oval sunglass. They're also with the Triumph style, but they're in metal instead of the acetate. So they still have the Triumph logo on the side, but they're just like a completely different material. These ones I love so, so much. They are gold and the lenses are gonna look probably black or gray, but they're actually green and it's so fun. I love these. These ones fit my face right out of the box. I didn't need to add anything extra. I didn't need to get them to tighten them or anything like that. These ones just fit my face immediately because they're metal. I think just the metal ones work better for my face because I don't have to worry about not being able to tighten them. These ones are also very much summertime sunglasses. I wear these all the time in the summer. They're like some of my favorite summer sunglasses. So yes, and these are all my Celines. All right, now the rest of these are pretty much one-off sunglasses. I've got ones from Chanel. I've got ones from Gentle Monster. I've got ones from Dior. But within these brands, Brands. I only have one pair. So let's just start from the front here. These are my only pair of Gentle Monster sunglasses. I love Gentle Monster. I think their designs are incredible, amazing. I love them to pieces, but I have a really hard time finding sunglasses that fit my face at Gentle Monster. I think it's because they are a Korean owned brand and I do think that they do favor Asian faces, which makes total sense. So I think that's probably why I have a harder time with finding sunglasses from Gentle Monster. But these ones I do like from Gentle Monster. Oh my God. Does it even say these? What are these? The arms are so thin. They can't even write the, uh, oh my God. Literally, I can't read that. <laughs> so I don't know what these ones are, but these ones are also metal and they look like this. These are my don't talk to me sunglasses. I don't have very many of these, but these are them. If I'm wearing these, I don't wanna be spoken to. I just want to probably sit on the beach or on my chair, whatever I'm doing and reading my book. I don't want to be speaking. <laughs> these are like my biggest sunglasses that I have. I know that these are kind of similar to the Her sunglasses from Gentle Monster. I don't think these are exactly those, but they are pretty similar. I do love a square frame as well. I love square and I love rectangle. I love oval. I do love these. I don't wear these as often as I should. I actually think I'm gonna start wearing these more. They're really, really great. Very big, kinda just don't talk to me moment. So yeah, these are my one and only Gentle Monsters. Next up, we have my hands down favorite pair of sunglasses that I have in my collection. These are my Chanel Sunnies. These are the acetate sunglasses that like literally everyone and their mom went insane over last year. These were so popular last year and I think they still are. Like I think they're still being back ordered and you can't just order them on Chanel's website. But these are the Chanel 5417 sunglasses 
Kirkland glasses. These are like the acetate ones, but then they have the Chanel written across the top here. They have these in a bunch of different colors. They have them in black and white. I think they had them in like pink or like a highlighter yellow. These are literally my favorite sunglasses that I own. I usually will pick these over all of my other sunglasses just because of the ease of use. They are just so easy to grab and go. They have the little Chanel logo on the side. They fit my face so perfectly. Like I've never had a sunglass fit my face this well. I need to check to see what millimeter these are so I can just order all of my sunglasses going forward in this millimeter because they are literally perfect. These ones I wear year round, like I don't ever stop wearing these. A spring, summer, fall, winter, I think they work so well in all the time. And yeah, I pretty much wear these with any outfit as well. Some outfits I feel like you know, if it's like more of an edgy outfit, then I'll wear this sunglass with it. If it's more of a classy outfit, then I'll wear a different sunglass with it. But these ones I wear with anything. Like literally just with anything. They're so casual, but they can also be dressed up. I'm obsessed with these. So these are my hands down favorites. Next up, we have one pair from a brand called Alem. These have to be probably some of my most unique sunglasses because Alem, to my knowledge, is very niche. You don't see them at like Saks or Nordstrom or maybe Bergdorf's, but I don't know. They're very niche. They're very like under the radar, hush hush, but they are a fantastic sunglasses brand in my opinion. These ones are also metal sunglasses. I just like metal sunglasses apparently, but they look like this. These are also some of my favorites. I wear these for summer all the time or like just in summer. These are gold frames with brown gradient lenses. And these ones just look so cool. Every time I wear these, I get compliments on them because they're just so funky. Like you just don't see sunglasses that are this shape very often. These ones do not fall off my face, but they are a little bit big. So what I end up having to do is like bend these back like bend these inwards a bit just so they wrap around my head better just because they're just gonna fall off my face if i don't so these are amazing i think these are so fun and so just interesting again i get a lot of compliments on these and these are my most expensive sunglasses that i have in my collection as far as i'm aware i don't know if i would buy any more just because they are so expensive i'm fine with dropping money on like a handbag or something but sunglasses are just like I love sunglasses and they're like my favorite accessory, but I don't know if I want to spend like six to 800 bucks on a pair of sunglasses, you know? Anyways, I have one pair and I'm happy with these. Next, we have my one pair of Miu Miu sunglasses. I'm obsessed with these, you guys. I wear these all the time, especially in summer. I do think these are very much a summertime sunglass but I love them so much. They were very popular like a few months ago, maybe at the beginning of the year, getting into spring, summer, but I have been getting so much wear out of these. They are the, oh, also the name of these sunglasses is called Q-U-A-Y. So like Key, Quay, Key, and then it's Branley, B-R-A-N-L-E-Y, I think, I think. Key Branley, I don't know but that's the name of these ones. So if you were interested, you can just probably search that and find them pretty easily. These ones again are the SMU08Z and they are a definite rectangle sunglass and they are in tortoise shell. And I love that it has like this really nice and big Miu Miu logo on either side. I just think it looks so nice. And then these ones are some of my favorites because you can like fully see your brows. Like you have a moment, like a sunglasses moment, but you can see your brows like through them, like on top. I think these are so fun for the summertime. I think they're so trendy as well, but they're not like so trendy that they're gonna go out of style in like two months. Like they're very it girl sunglasses. I'm not an it girl by any means. I haven't had it too much issue with these fitting my face. They do fit relatively well. Yeah, now they fit pretty good. Not as good as my Chanel sunnies. So I'm very happy with these. And my last pair of sunglasses, you guys, before we get into the little unboxing, it is my 
Dior sunglasses. I, listen, I wanted these sunglasses so, so bad when I first saw them. I saw them on so many people and I was like, oh my God, those are the coolest sunglasses I've ever seen. I still think that they are amazing and they're such high quality and they're just bricks. Like they're just like, oh, some of the best sunglasses that I have in my collection. They're very much Miranda Priestly. I don't wear these as often because I genuinely feel like who am I when I wear these sunglasses like I don't think that I'm like oh I'm Kinsey hey I'm Kinsey I feel like a bitch when I wear these sunglasses I would never act like a bitch to anybody like in person like on purpose but these sunglasses definitely make me feel some type of way <laughs> they're great again very Miranda Priestly these are also very much a rectangle style and then on the side, it says Christian Dior. And I think that is probably one of the most iconic, like these are very iconic sunglasses. I feel like everyone would know what these are. W-I-L-D-I-O-R, so Will Dior, S-2-U, I don't know, one zero a zero. Just Google the Christian Dior acetate rectangle, because that's pretty much what these are. Anyways, these ones, again, just make me feel like some type of way when I wear them. Also, these fit my face really well. Never had an issue with them sliding down. Um, they don't have nose pads and I did not install separate nose pads in them. So these ones were just great out of the box. I love them. These ones are like my boss bitch sunglasses. Whenever I know that I'm wearing like an outfit, I usually wear these <laughs> and that doesn't happen very often. I need to start wearing these more than I do, but all right, you guys, those are all of my sunglasses in my collection currently, but we do have a new addition to my collection. This is my first ever Bottega Veneta sunglass unboxing. I have never had anything sunglasses related from Bottega before and these ones, I got these on 24S, I believe, and these ones, oh my gosh, these look so cool. I have already taken them out. I have already worn them. They do kind of fall off my face, so I am gonna have to either put little nose pads on them or I'm gonna have to take them somewhere to get resized because they are a little too big, unfortunately. But these ones are also very like, really good quality. They're very hefty. They're very, not heavy, but you could just feel there's like a lot of substance. So here's what they look like. They are black. These ones are also kind of like a rectangle, like a square rectangle. And then you have the Bottega logo on each side. And these are the BV1146S. I hope that's correct. Here's what they look like on. I think these are very, very cool girl sunglasses. Again, they do like really move a lot. I wish they were tighter. They're very chic and I think they just look great. They're gonna work really well with any outfit. These ones I feel like I'd probably wear in the later half of the year as well. Maybe a bit in the summer, but these ones do kind of strike me as like a fall winter vibe. Those are all my sunglasses you guys and my little unboxing that we did together. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pair of sunglasses that I showed today was. Let me know in the comments what you like to collect. Do you have a sunglasses collection as well? If you do, tell me all the sunglasses that you do have. If you have a different collection, um, tell me what you collect and what's in your collection, or just tell me anything down in the comments because I'm nosy and I wanna know that. But you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to, and be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.